Hello everybody and welcome to this video. My name is Winston. Today I'm going to show you five amazing tricks and tips to level up your Premiere Pro workflow. If you are completely new to Premiere Pro and you have never edited a video in your life before, then go ahead and check out my previous video that is going to show you how to get started from scratch. Now let's get straight into tip number one. Learn keyboard shortcuts. Guys, this is what separates the pros from the amateurs. By learning how to utilize keyboard shortcuts, you can cut your editing time in half easily. There are so many keyboard shortcuts that I actually couldn't even fit them into this one video, even if I wanted to. So I'm going to go over my top three ones. And if you want to learn more about them, then you can go and uh, you know look it up on adobe.com or also there are a bunch of other amazing tutorial videos here on YouTube just on the topic of Premiere Pro keyboard shortcuts alone. So my first favorite keyboard shortcut is the Rewind, Pause and Advance, uh, which you can access by pressing either J, K or L on your keyboard. By using this, you can rewind in your footage, you can fast forward or you can pause your footage and it is just so much easier to use than having to do it manually. My second favorite one is the marker shortcut, which is basically just pressing M or whatever it is set to on your keyboard. It is super useful for, for example, uh, syncing clips to music. You can just hit M on your keyboard whenever the beat hits and then you will be able to drag and drop your clips and it will automatically sync it up to the music. And lastly, the third keyboard shortcut that I use literally all the time is saving and you can do that by pressing Command and S on your keyboard or Control and S if you are on Windows. Now again guys, you can set keyboard shortcuts for almost anything in Premiere Pro. So these are just a couple that I use literally every day, but there are so many more. So go ahead and uh, play around with it in your Premiere Pro or check out some other tutorial videos as well that cover keyboard shortcuts in more detail. Use presets. You can create your own presets or buy presets from other creators for stuff like transitions, color grading and lots, uh, and even like video effects or sound effects. There are literally so many presets that you can get that it's ridiculous. And a lot of them you can get for free or uh, for just a couple dollars and they can speed up your editing flow so significantly. If I didn't have presets, my editing would take probably twice as much because I would have to recreate the same effects and the same color grades every single time I'm editing a video. What I can just do by using presets is just drag and drop the preset and it's already done, that's all. So here is how you can create your own preset. All you have to do is create the desired effect first inside Premiere that you want to save as a preset and then go into um, the effect controls and then right click on the certain effect that you want to make the preset from. You click on save preset, you name it, and then now you will be able to find it in your presets inside the effects tab. And here is how you can import a preset. All you have to do is just to go into your effects tab, click on this little thing, drag and drop the preset that you downloaded, and then that's all. Tip number three is to use proxies. So unless you have stolen a computer from NASA, uh, your Premiere is probably going to crash or lag at some point, no matter how good of a computer you have. So to stop that uh, from happening, you can create uh, proxies of your files. And that is basically just a more uh, dumbed down version um, of the certain file format that your camera is recording in. It's less compressed, uh, so your computer doesn't have to do as much uncompressing while you are editing. Now, this is a great way to speed up your Premiere Pro and your computer, basically, uh, without having to purchase any external things. The only thing is, it's going to cost you a little bit in storage and by a little bit i mean quite a lot but still i think it's worth it to use proxies just make sure you have a lot of uh, storage space available so here is how you can turn on the proxies all you have to do is basically select all the footage that you want to create proxies of inside your footage uh, in premiere library and then you right click you click on proxy and then you click on create proxy. Now it's going to open Adobe Encoder and there you can select the type of proxy that you want and it will create it for you. Tip number four for you guys is to keep everything organized. I used to be that person who had everything all over the place. I had like three different external hard drives and then I had a thousand different folders throughout my computer and I couldn't ever find anything. Like whenever I wanted to add a certain sound effect or a lot to a certain 
video, I would have to look for tens of minutes just to find that one thing. So to avoid that, all you have to do is just stay a little disciplined and organize your files and videos. So I recommend creating a certain file structure that works for you. Now, I don't think there is one that works for everybody. Yeah, just by following and sticking to one file structure and making sure that you are keeping all your uh, footage in one folder, you're keeping all your sound effects in one folder, you're keeping all your lots in one folder, and so on. You can save yourself so much time by not having to search for everything for hours. And lastly, tip number five is don't rewatch your video from the beginning all the time. Now, I am super guilty of this, to be honest, guys. Uh, like whenever I'm editing a vlog, for example, and that juicy cinematic sequence comes up where the B-roll looks awesome, the color grade is just like coming together so well, uh, the music is like a banger. I just want to watch it back from the beginning every single time I made a small adjustment to it. But the thing is, you are wasting so much time by doing that. So instead, what you should do is just edit the video in one sitting and then after you are finished with the whole edit and you put all the clips together, uh, they are matching up to the music uh, and everything else, then just watch the video once or twice to make sure there aren't any issues or problems with it or any mistakes that you left in. You can fix those and then just render it. By doing that, you may spend like 10 to 20 minutes on re-watching your and checking your 10 minute video. And if you were to just like re-watch it every single time you made a small adjustment, you would probably spend like 40 minutes re-watching your footage and checking if everything is right. And you would get the same result anyways. So just watch it at the end and try not to re-watch the whole video every five seconds. So if you apply these five tricks and tips, then I guarantee you, you are going to be able to speed up your editing workflow and it's also going to get much better and your edits are going to come out cleaner and higher quality as well. If you're interested in how you can create a social media content agency online and uh, build a potentially six-figure business for yourself, then click on the link down below in the description and book a call with me personally. Over the last two years, I've been basically building my own creative agency and I learned a lot of different tricks and tips and just a lot of lessons on how to actually get high ticket clients online for video editing, social media management, YouTube, and all these different creative services. And I managed to make a really good full-time living for myself by creating a social media content agency. So if you want to create one for yourself and start your own creative agency, then go ahead and check out the link in the description, apply for it. Now only do it if you're actually serious and you have a budget for it. This is a personal one-on-one -on -one, uh, coaching program. I want to make sure that my students get good results. So it's not a cheap program, it's a premium program. So I can make sure to spend as much time as needed uh, to make sure everyone succeeds in the program. So, um, yeah, if you want to check that out, check it out in the description. Other than that, I thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you got some value out of it. If you did, please click that like button and also subscribe to the channel for more content similar to this. And also check out my Instagram, which is Vince Oprah, if you want to see more behind the scenes content and just get to know me personally. And uh, yeah, if you shoot me a DM, I guarantee I will respond to you. So yeah. Thank you so much again for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.